All these people are rich. Thing fell down. Yeah, yeah.
see how that's in the middle? Mm -hmm. That's what you do. You shake it back and forth and get every all the, the possibilities are right there in the middle. Mm. And so then you scoop that out and I put it and take it home and get it out in the sunshine and see. Uh, I don't know. Let me flip it. Is that the winner? Chicken here. dinner? And then we'll Let me flip it somewhere. Okay. Yeah, let's go flip. Sounds good. What happens? I don't see nothing. We didn't do. <laughs> what? What's that? It's quartz. Let me see. They're sipping through the rocks, the gravel, the stuff that we found. This is a lot of work. <laughs> this is a whole lot of work. Exciting, but a lot of work. Um, I don't think we've hit diamonds, but we have a ton of quartz that I've found, and that's pretty exciting. Um, there's a gate. There's a bunch of different rocks and minerals, but no diamonds that we know of yet. So we shall see. Oh, damn it. <laughs> so Calcite, which is a calcium mineral, very soft and very brittle. This one is a barite. It's a barium mineral. It's very soft and brittle as well. There's jasper. They come in over 37 different colors, roughly. Volcanic tuff. It's volcanic ash. Lamperite, right here, which is a lava rock. And that looks about it for that one over here. So, I think that's it on that side. What's over here is some more bigger pieces of lamparite, which is that lava rock. All the blue green colored stones are called volcanic tuff, which are volcanic ash. There's agate, which is sandstone and quartz together. That is quartz. All these round and smooth are different color stones are called jaspers. Those come in over 37 different colors roughly. And then there's sandstone. And I believe that's it. So all those clear ones are quartz? Quartz or like calcite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it um, just scratches, it's quartz. Mm. If it leaves a chalky residue, it's either calcite or ferrite, just mm. depending on the, on the color. Okay. 2.38 carats. That was on this year. 238. Wow. That's crazy. All right, what was your experience? Uh, well, it was a lot of fun, a lot of digging. Um, expect to come do a lot of digging, a lot of moving of dirt. Um, if you don't have patience, this is not for you. Um, the worst part though, honestly, the most work is sifting, um, is really getting in there sifting because it takes a lot of work. You can go out there, you can fill your buckets up all day, but whenever it comes down to sifting, you have to take a lot of time, a lot of effort and a lot of patience working it and doing what you can. Um, it will take all day. Like if you're really wanting to find stuff and search stuff, plan your whole day to be here. We've been here for at least four hours working. So you know what? It was fun. I enjoyed it. I didn't have much patience, so I did the surface looking. I found a lot of little quartz. Um, he did more of the digging, and he found the little patches of gravel. It's supposed to storm, um, so apparently after a storm is the best time to dig uh, for diamonds. So that would be tomorrow morning. We were planning on coming, but because of how much work it was, and we were already sinking in the mud, and we have little small children, uh, we may not be doing that, but we may come next time. They also have a Wagner crystal mining an hour from north. here, an hour north. And um, so I don't know, we might check that out. There's a bunch of different shopping areas in the area. So we're gonna probably just hang out a little bit um, until we get to camp. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
I got a bunch of really cool rock. Um, and I'm super excited about that. I can't wait to take some home to show some friends and probably give some to some of the kids. Um, you have a great day. Hope you enjoyed our vacation. It's been fun.